Recently, I've been playing a lot of stage lately. I've been trying to get in the rhythm, trying to get better, trying to actually get my movement way better, and that's been helping me. As me coming back to current gen NBA 2K21, I've been enjoying my time over here, but check this out. As me having a playmaking shot credit, all you guys know, my playmaking shot, I'll, even if it's 6'5", 6'4", I'm going to go get a bucket with the 6'5", I'm going to get a bucket with the 6'4". But as me actually playing stage and me noticing lockdowns checking me having a 97 speed or a 99 speed, I might as well end up getting better speed and better badge points. But if most of you guys remember my playmaking shot rear video at the beginning of the year during the demo, y'all all maybe watched the video, maybe got a reference from it, maybe made y'all play shot off that and end up changing the height or something like that. But my 6'4 playmaking shot creator, I think it's time to remake it. It is finally time to act. This might be one of the only times I remake a build. My build is still great but I want to make it even better. We're still going to stick with the main mechanics, but check this out, check this out. I'm going to let it go a little shorter. Y'all know I don't like short players when it comes to playing on 2K. Me and short players don't get along. I don't like using this short player. Like, I like to be able to play defense, offense. I'm trying to do the whole down. I'm trying to do everything, but I can understand still being at a disadvantage. But if y'all guys look at my stats, I have driving dunk on my play shot. A lot of you guys might not have driving dunk. I like dunking on my I want my builds to be able to somewhat dunk. That's one thing. My build gotta have somewhat dunking ability and somewhat a defensive ability. As y'all see, I got my blocks max. I got a 51 block. But when it comes to this bash count, a lot of you guys didn't know that this is my beta build. This is literally the beta build. 121, 22, and 8. As I showed you in that playmaking shot critter video, how to make the best playmaking shot critter on NBA 2K21 current gen. As I know, you can make a 122, 22, and 9, or a 120. Based on what's your attributes, you're going to get a good build badge layout, especially on this build, based on what you play. Some of you guys might not need that many defensive badges, so you put it on playmaking. But how I play the game and what I do, I got to make sure this build is perfect. So check this out. We're going to start off with point guard position, right hand, of course. The pie chart will be the OG playmaking shot creator pie chart. We're going to do half and half, 50%, 50%, Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame playmaking. You can't go wrong with this pie chart, really. You really can't. This build is really to be a scoring build, so we're going to go with this pie chart. Physical profile, we're going to end up going with the first one. We need all the speed we can get. We're running point guard. We need all the speed and acceleration we can get. But what coming with this build? When I look, when I actually made this build the first time, that's my beta build. Before I showed you guys how to find the best badge counts on this game with a playmaking shot creator, I end up putting my dunk up. And I noticed with me putting my dunk up, I do miss out on more shooting badges, but you don't need that many shooting badges on this game. To be honest, you can be good with maybe 18 shooting badges because Hall of Fame, Hot Zone Hunter, what, Range Extender, you might use Dead Eye here and there, Clutch Shooter. Uh, it's some other badges. You can put volume shooter if you want to, but you don't really need that many badges. But when it comes to playmaking badges, that's where I end up having 22. 22 was just good enough. I didn't have to put floor general on for nobody. I didn't have to use multiple badges. I don't. It's not that many badges I'm going to use. But as we get 123, 22, and what me trying to max out most of my defensive, at least get nine defensive badges. 123, 22, and nine. As this is what the build would look like if I wanted a driving dunk. I sacrificed my driving layup to get a driving dunk plus more shooting badges. Oh, as me only having 21 shooting badges, I gained two more shooting badges in the defensive badge. But as you guys will mostly do when y'all make this build, most of you guys might look like something like this. Or y'all might have 24 playmaking badges. So I decided to take off driving dunk. I'm going to see. I'm going to let y'all guys decide in the comment section. Before I make this build and remake this build, should I go with the one with driving dunk or the one without driving dunk? Y'all see the badge count, but the attributes. I want my mic player to somewhat be able to dunk. But with me having this 80 driving layup, it's opening a space for me to mess around with the badges. So now with only a driving layup of 80, now I'm able to have 25 shooting badges, 23 playmaking, but as you can get 24 max. And then defensive, we could have got 10 if I lower my driving layup to at least like 71, 72-ish. I will be able to get a little more attributes to get 10 defensive badges. So it's 125, 23, and 9. It seemed like this is going to go what we're looking for. This is going to be the build that we're going to choose and work on right now. But as we're going for body type, it really doesn't matter to me. As I already got defined on my 6-4, I might as well make this player somewhat slight or compact. But most of the best guards on this game, comp stage guards, they end up using a 6-1 or 6-2 build. 6-1, 6-2. I prefer 6-2 because with the 6-1, you get too many body bump animations with dribbling. But with the weight, we're going to want to go with 169, 168. At 99 overall, I will have a 99 speed. For the wingspan, I was thinking go shortest, get the 91, 3 point and 90, have the 95 at 99. But hey, we might as well go shortest. We might as well. Shortest, 
that's what we've been doing for years especially with these type of builds we might as well go short as wingspan and for these takeovers i really wanted to put playmaking takeover in this build you don't understand maybe for the stretch playmaker maybe for my stretch playmaker or two-way shot critter i might put playmaking takeover but i want to actually test out playmaking takeover this year i want to but we're gonna go with the sharp takeover it's too good to be like come on it's too good but as we get the name that you've seen over a million of times the playmaking shot critter build steph curry kyrie irving kimba walker great people to be similar to but look as me using this build i'm gonna have to try to turn up with this build when i'm using a 6-2 guard and me actually getting the badges and getting a progression of using this build getting just as using smaller players i'm gonna have to go crazy i can't wait to see the difference between a 99 speed 6-2 versus my 97 speed i'm gonna actually test that like i'm gonna actually test but i do see a difference when i see guards dribble and also when guards is running up and down the court dribbling running around screens it seems like the animations are way faster especially with the dribble styles we use most people use lebron some people use quick some people will use shifty and i tried all three on my 6-4 and it seems like he's still somewhat slow but as we get these badges shooting badges i got 25 25 shooting badges this is why i usually run i just added tyler shooter to be honest i just threw that in there clutch shooter raised to, to go and now i'm gonna end up putting difficult shots or hot start one of those but as me having 25 badges like i said i don't need 25 badges this seemed like od this is something that's od to me with 25 badges but also 23 playmaking we got one more playmaking badge compared to our last build so now I can throw that Dimer on gold, Hall of Fame, Bell out on silver. I always do unpluckable on gold. I don't, Hall of Fame, I don't mess with you, bro. I don't mess with you. But we gotta always have that ankle breaker on. Then on heel, we could put it on gold now. But now, hey, 23 playmaking badges, and now we got these non-defensive badges. I could have got that tenth one like I told you. But since we're gonna go with clamps, intimidator, and it's based on where I'm playing. If I'm checking ball, I'm gonna do pick dodger, pick pocket. If I'm sitting corner, I'm putting that interceptor on. But it's different ways I play. We end up running with two guards, one guard. It's just based on how we're playing. But make sure you guys drop a like on this video if you're gonna end up remaking this build or if you already have this somewhat similar build. Let me know in the comment section. But make sure you guys follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. It may be your man, Shamama. See you guys in the next one. And I'm out, y'all. Peace. You niggas had that EDD run, now y'all back broke. Tryna do that one dance, I think my back broke. Bitch, I grew up in a dope house smelling crack smoke. I ain't never told you could kill me with them rat jokes. 4 5, he leaning back like Fat Joe. I'm so high, I'm maxing freeze where my blacks go. Boy, you cap so much, you need to work at the hat stove. Okay, I'm tired of drinking Wackhart, where the at go?